for the talk, the game in which some of the area's brightest students have an opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge. Welcome to the Reach for the Top National uh, Preliminaries, uh, Pack 5, um, in this game between uh, Weber Academy and Air Camber. Um, we begin with a 40-point snap start to round one. What two-word Latin phrase describes the year 1905 in terms of the career? Uh, Ryan. Magnum opus. Uh, no, sorry. In terms of the career of Albert Einstein. Other side? Mantle? I don't Someone down that. I did a buzz. Uh, that's time. This is Annis Mirabilis. What is acrophobia, the, uh, the fear of? Uh, Ryan? Heights. Yes. What 10 letter word can refer to a resignation or a snack bar? Cheyenne? Waiting. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, other side? I think anyway. I don't know. Uh, that's going to be time. This is, uh, that's time. Sorry. This is concession. In which state are the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, the headquarters for the National uh, Cheyenne? Maryland? Yes, that's good. We're going to move on to a 30-point open question on graphic novels. Art Spiegelman is known for which work which represents Holocaust... Uh, Thomas? Mouse? Yes. Chester Brown is known for depicting the life of which Manitoban political figure? Uh, Jacob? Louis Riel. Yes. Enid and Rebecca are snarky hipsters criticizing everything in their unnamed town in which Daniel Close book, or sorry, in which Daniel Close book later adapted into a 2001 film. Three, that's going to be time. This is called Ghost World. Moving on to a 40 point team question part one. It's going for 10 points. After chimpanzees and bonobos, the closest living relative to humans is a what? Orangutans. No, is what great ape the largest living primate? Other gorilla? side. Gorilla? Gorilla? Go. Orion. Gorilla? That's correct. Many questions are, for, are about gorillas and deal with hamburger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are many questions <laughs> are about gorillas and are for hamburger. There you go. Eventually. Uh, what primatologist studied gorillas in Rwanda for decades and published oh. Gorillas in the Mist two years before her murder? It's like Jane Goodall, right? Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's she did chimps. Uh, that's time. Sorry, this is Diane Fossey. Diane Fossey. What military term refers to a group of gorillas living together? A troop. I troop, think. probably. Yeah. Go, go for that's it. Monkeys, but sure. Uh, Ryan. Tr troop. Yes, that's correct. Okay, guess it Finally, to what star of Western action films lends his name to a gorilla's song that says, "I got sunshine in a bag." Oh, Justin Timberlake. Is it? Okay. Uh, that's Andy? Justin Timberlake. This is Clint Eastwood. We're back open for a 20-point special question. Name all three races that must be won in order for a horse to be awarded the American Triple Crown. Uh, Bowen. Preckness Stakes, Belmont Stakes, and Kentucky Derby. That's correct. Nice. Moving on to a 40-point open question on cargo. Which company's cargo airplanes are painted with a logo that says Prime Air Award? Boeing. Uh, time, no. sorry. Uh, other side? Just Amazon, Amazon right? Andy. Amazon? That's correct. The U.S.'s second busiest cargo airport, Ted Stevens International Airport, is in which Alaskan city? Award. Anchorage. Yes. Uh, Memphis is the base of which courier company whose logo has a famous... Oh, Andy. FedEx. Uh, did, did you say something? I said FedEx, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. And a 2016 expansion increased the maximum dimensions of ships reversing the lot of what Central American waterway? Uh, a what? 
Emma Canal. Uh, could you repeat the first part of that? Panama Canal. That's good. Moving on to an 80 point assigned question on the periodic table. Um, so which uh, which team is team A? Uh, I guess Hamburg. 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 Okay, Hamburg is gonna be team A. Um, so we're gonna start with Thomas on Hamburg. These are on, on the periodic table. Which element with atomic number 84 was used in the poisoning of Alexander Lifford and Co? Uh, polonium. That is correct. Moving on to Ryan from Hamburg, which element is the lightest noble gas? Oh, uh, Ryan? Helium. Uh, that's good. Which, sorry, uh, third is Andy. <clears throat> Which ele element with atomic number 56 is used in medical imaging of the intestines? Cesium? Andy? Uh, no, so this goes to three on the other side, which is Cheyenne. Cheyenne? Radium? Uh, this is barium. And finally, uh, number four on Hamber, which is uh, Bowen. What is the chemical symbol for antimony? Uh, that's going to be time. Uh, others, sorry, that was time. Uh, Giris on weather. SB. Giris. That is correct. Moving on to Weber, uh, number one, which is Awad. Which poisonous group 15 element has an atomic number of 33? Awad? Arsenic. That's correct. Uh, number two, which is uh, Jacob. Which element with atomic number 73 is named for a Greek mythological figure condemned to eternal suffering in the underworld? It's going to be time. Uh, sorry, that was time. Uh, other side, so Ryan. Ryan? Um, tantalium. Uh, no, sorry, I can't take that. It's called tantalum. Uh, we're on to Cheyenne. Which element has, an, has a symbol MN? Uh, Cheyenne? Madanese. Uh, could you repeat that? Madanese. Uh, no, other side. Uh, so this goes to Andy. Uh, it is manganese. Andy? That is correct. Uh, finally, number four on Weber, Aguirus. What is the chemical symbol for silver? Aguirus. AG. Yep, that's good. All right, we're back open for a 40 point snap out to end round one. What is the G League affiliate of the Toronto Raptors? A what? The 905 Raptors. Uh, incorrect. Other side? Anyone? Nothing. Uh, this is uh, Ryan. Um, Toronto Ducks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the, this is specifically the Raptors 905. Um, the languages Bulgarian, Ukrainian, and Russian are all written during, are using what script? Giris? Cyrillic? Yep. Daegu, Busan, and Incheon are all cities in what country? Bowen? Korea. Uh, incorrect, other side. Uh, uh, Jacob? South Korea. Yep, that's good. Could we get a problem Edward, on this Korea? Andrew. Uh, it says reject. Uh, okay, Edward, sorry. Andrew, Anne, and Charles are the children of what current British monarch? Thomas? The second? Yes, that's good. That's the end of the round. Okay, on the assumption that there are no challenges, um, I have a score of 120 for Eric Hamber and 90 for Weber. All right, very close game. Um, if both teams are ready, let's have a 40-point snap start to round two. What puzzle fad of the 1980s is named for the Hungarian professor who invented Cheyenne? Rubik's. Uh, no, uh, the... Sorry, the Hungarian professor who invented it. Other side? Uh, Andy? Rubik. Uh, this is a, a Rubik's cube. cube. You have to add a cube. You, did, you, yeah. name, did you not the puzzle, oh, not the person? Oh, the fad, not the person. Mm. Uh, sorry. Uh, question number 30. The gold sarcophagus of Alexander the Great was filled with what common food item? A what? Wine? Uh, no, other side? 
I don't know. Anything? Sure. Rice? Honey? Uh, Andy? Honey. That's correct. Oh. Nice. Uh, creativity, time, and computers are episodes of what puppet-based comedy horror web series? Giris? Don't hug me, I'm scared. That's correct. Oh. A protest... A protest at which American university against bombings in Cambodia? Uh, what? Ohio State University? Uh, no, against bombings in Cambodia resulted in the death of four students on May 4th, 1970. Anything? No, I don't know. Uh, Thomas. Stanford. Uh, Kent, Kent, Kent State, State University. State. Yeah. Uh, moving on to a 40-point open question on hurricanes, the aftermath of which hurricane saw widespread criticism of Michael Brown, the director of FEMA, uh, Cheyenne. Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. That's good. In 1997, which Connecticut hockey team relocated to become the Carolina Hurricanes? Jacob? North Stars. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, that's time. Other side. Uh, do you want to go, go North Stars? Sure. Andy? North Stars? Uh, so these are the Hartford Whalers. Um, what is the name given to the region of calm weather at the center of a hurricane? Ryan? Hi. That's correct. Finally, what classification on the Saffir Simpson scale is below that of a category one her uh, Bowen? Uh, a cyclone? Uh, no, uh, of a category one hurricane, but above that of a tropical depression. Tropical storm? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Jacob? Tropical storm. That is correct. We're going to move on to a 40-point who am I question. Clue A. My eldest son built the Brighton Pavilion and had a troubled relationship with his wife, Caroline of Brunswick. Who am I? A what? King George. Uh, could, did you read, could you read that? King George. Prompt. King George the first. Uh, incorrect. Other side. I want to guess the third. Third. Ryan. George the third. That is good for forty. Yes. All right. Uh, we're on to a forty-point open question on body parts. Who coached the Montreal Canadiens from 1955 to 1968? Um, Jacob. And. Uh, no, other side. I don't know, like um, elbow. Maurice Richard, I don't know. Body uh, Bowen. Uh, kicker. Uh, this is called, or sorry, he's called Toe Blake. As titled in a 1932 film directed by Howard Hawks, what was Al Capone's nickname? Bowen. Garface. Yep, that's good. What unit of length equal to exactly four inches is used, Bowen? A hand. That's correct. Finally, in the Arthur cartoons, what was the nickname given to Alan Powers? Mm. Uh, Giris? Buster? Uh, no, other side. Any, any ideas? Uh, Bowen, uh, Thomas, go for a guess. Uh, Bowen? Big ear. Uh, no, this is the brain. 40-point oh. open question on numbers and music. Although officially untitled, what common name is given to the 1971 album by Led Zeppelin? Uh, Thomas. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Heim. Uh, by Led Zeppelin, known for songs like Black Dog and Stairway to Heaven. Anyone know? Uh, Jacob? One. Uh, this is four. Led Zeppelin, four. Mm. Within five, how many love songs were released on a 1999 three-disc album by the Magnetic Fields? Jacob? 23. Uh, no, other side? I go like 35. 30. Andy? 35. Uh, no, this is 69. Released in 2002, whose debut single was titled A Thousand Miles? <gasps> Garris? Sarah. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, other Vanessa side? Vanessa Carlton, right? Yeah. But not sure. Andy. Vanessa Carlton? That's correct. Nice. Finally, beginning with a prominent two chord piano vamp, which jazz standard was written and recorded by Dave Brubeck in 1959? Uh, Thomas. A giant step. I'm sorry. Uh, other side? Cheyenne? 
Take five. That's correct. Just mm-hmm. in time. Nice. Moving on to a 40 point open question on stand up comedy. Hard Knock Wife and Baby Cobra are two Netflix specials performed by which Asian American comedian? Uh, Cheyenne. Ali Wong. That's correct. Rank the best comedian of the 21st century by The Guardian, who is the author of Bossy Pants and has written for the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Me, uh, Thomas. Tina Fey. Yep, that's good. The FCC was given the power to find broadcasters for airing inappropriate content in a lawsuit spurred by the seven dirty words routine of what legendary comedian? Thomas? George Carlin. That's correct. A monster named Victor who prays in the city of Montreal is the mascot for which stand-up comedy festival the largest in the world? Cheyenne. Death for laughs. That's correct. We're on to a 40-point team question. Let's go for 10 points. What last name is shared by acting brothers Daniel, Billy, Stephen, and Alec? Thomas. Baldwin. That's correct. Uh, Remaining questions are for Hamburg and deal with people named Baldwin. Dwight Hamilton Baldwin founded a company in the 1800s to make what musical instrument? No, like I don't know. Like a uh, trumpet? Sure. Time. <laughs> uh, that's going to be time. Sorry, this is the piano. What American um, writer wrote the novels, If Beale Street Could Talk, and Go Tell It on the Mountain? I think it's Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> what? James? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I think that was time. This is, yeah, but this is James Baldwin. Alec Baldwin voices the title character in a 2017 movie about an infant with adult intelligence who works for a top secret corporation. Uh, Bowen? Boss Baby. <laughs> that is correct. Oh. We're back open for 60 point chain snappers to end the round. What conflicts with the battles of the wilderness, Shiloh, and Gettysburg? Cheyenne? American Civil War. That's correct. What Southern Belle created by Margaret Mitchell sees her lifestyle devastated by the Civil War? Uh, Thomas? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, other side? A what? Scarlet O'Hara? That's correct. What letter was painted on Hester's Prince, Hester Prince dress in the Scarlet Letter? Thomas? A. Yep. What island is home to an undeciphered script called Linear A? A what? Easter Island? Uh, no, other side? I think it's Manoa. Sure. Wait. Manoa? Bowen? Uh, this is Crete. Uh, uh, uh which painter of view of Toledo was born in Crete? A what? El Greco. Mm-hmm. That's good. Finally, per the title of a Nikos Kazantzatzis novel, which was sorry, what was the first name of a character nicknamed the Greek? It's going to be time. Uh, sorry, that's time. This is Zorba the Greek. That's the end of round two. Okay. Um, I have a score of 260 for Eric Hamber and 180 for Weber. All right. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask to Colin, um, did you also have some times where it seemed like they gave the like incorrect answer and then got called time after? Like, it didn't affect the score at all, but like, I was seeing yes. some... Yeah, mm-hmm. it, yeah. it kind of seems like... Yeah. You're, you're lagging a little bit, like you're... Yeah, no, but I'm not reading... Not as bad as last game, time. but like... Uh, yeah. so you want me to I think this is the best solution, and you're, I think you're giving adequate yeah. time to make up for the lag, um, from my perspective. Um, at least. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I think, okay. I think it's, it's good enough for now. It's definitely not as bad as last game was. Okay, if everyone's good with me continuing, I'm going to continue. Um, anyways, we're moving on to a 40-point snap start to round three. Which country has experienced a revolution against Soviet dominance in 19... A what? Hungary. That's good. Commonly associated with libertarianism in the modern day, what forward phrase is featured on the Gadsden flag? Uh, Bowen. Don't tread on me. That's correct. Who wrote a conversation between himself and lady philosophy called the consolation of philosophy? Cheyenne? Socrates? No, other side? Not sure. Bowen, guess? Someone. Bowen? Hume. Uh, this is Bothius or Bethius. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Yeah. Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry are the flavors in which uh, Thomas. 
Neapolitan. That is correct. Moving on to a 30 point open question on trigon trigonometric functions. What is the period of the function y equals 4 uh, and d? I have a 2. Uh, no, y equals 4 cosine 2x. Anyone? Jacob? Pi. Uh, could you repeat that? Pi. That is good. Uh, what is the smallest positive value of x at which the function y equals tan x has a vertical asymptote? Jacob? Pi. Uh, no, other side? Over 2, right? Over 2. Oh, yeah. Andy? Pi over 2? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, yeah. nice. What do we call half? What do we call half the distance between the highest and lowest values of a sine function? Uh, Bowen. Amplitude. That's good. Forty point team questions cover ten points. In nineteen thirty, what city got a new name, replacing its old name of Con? Uh, a what? Istanbul. No. That's good. Yeah. Uh, the ring questions up with Istanbul and are for Weber. Okay. Is, uh, Istanbul lies on what strait that separates Europe from Asia? Bosphorus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bosphorus. Yeah, yeah, a, a what? Bosphorus. That's correct. What massive building in Istanbul was the world's large, largest cathedral for almost 1,000 years? Sophia. Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia, yeah. A what? Hagia Sophia. That is correct. In 1456, Sultan Mehmed mm -hmm. II began construction of what massive covered market in Istanbul? I don't know. The Grand Bazaar, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, Grand, yeah. Grand Bazaar. That's good. Nice, nice. We're back open for a 30 point open question on fighting games. Which assassin from the Lin Kuei clan has a rivalry with Scorpion and is able to produce ice uh, Bowen? Sub Zero. That's correct. Which critically panned fighting game stars Shaquille O'Neal as the player character? Chan? Tekken? Uh, no, um, other side. Wait, who was the character? Shaquille O'Neal. Bowen? Knockout. Shaq uh, this is called Shaq Fu. <laughs> it's the speedest uh, which, thing ever. <laughs> which esports tournament series focuses entirely on fighting games and is uh, Bowen? Evo. That is correct. We're going to move on to a 40 point what am I question. Clue A. I name a short orchestral piece written after the First World War by Maurice Ravel, as well as a Grand Brillant piece by Frédéric Chopin. What am I? Hey, uh, Thomas. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, other side? It's locked. Oh, sorry, I have to clear. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll count again. Cheyenne? Silence. Uh, no. Clue B. One of me is called the Roses from the South, while another one of the flowers is found in Tchaikovsky's the, uh, Thomas. Waltz. That's good for 30. Uh, now we have a 120 point snap out to end the game. Alexander Lukashenko is the current president of what country? Cheyenne. Belarus. That's correct. What two sugars make up lactose? Thomas. Glucose and... Dextrose. I am sorry. Uh, other side, Jacob. Glucose and galactose. That is correct. In the 1890s, what colorful adjective was used to describe sensational journalism in the United States? A what? Yellow. That's correct. The activated form of what common substance can be taken orally? Uh, Jacob. Carbon. That's good. Uh, in what Canadian city is Memorial University located? A what? St. John's? Yep. At what fictional castle in Denmark do the events of Hamlet take place? A what? Mm. Uh, time, sorry. Other side? Uh, El Elsinore, right? Go. Andy? Elsinore. That's correct. What 843 treaty divided the Carolingian Empire among three grandsons of Charlemagne? What? A what? Treaty of Paris. Uh, no other side. Well, yes, that like sure. Treaty of uh, Andy. Uh, Treaty of Nice. Uh, this is the Treaty of Verdun. What July birthstone is the tra traditional gift for forty? Uh, Ryan. Ruby. That is correct. 
In Europe, solitaire card games are known by what other name, which is also a verb. Uh, Thomas? Uh, Monday? I am sorry. Uh, also a virtuous trait. I'm going to finish up. Patience? Um, yeah. Grace? Jacob? It's patience. That's good. Oh. Uh, what trees' leaves do silkworms eat? Diane? Mulberry. That's good. Who was the first black member of the Canadian House of Commons? A what? I'm sorry, other side? Any no, ideas? No. no. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is so this is Lincoln Alexander. And finally, what comes between the flop and the river in Texas Hold'em? Thomas. The turn. That is good. That's the end of the game. Let's read some tiebreakers. Um, in what world capital was singer Gloria Estefan born? Cheyenne? Bogota? Uh, no, other side? I don't know what country. Um, uh, Thomas? Uh, Mexico City. This is Havana. Um, which is the only Canadian province to almost entirely abstain from daylight savings time? A what? Saskatchewan. That's good. The eruption of what volcano destroyed the resort town of Herculaneum in 79? Uh, Jacob. Vesuvius. That's good. Finally, lupine is an adjective that refers to uh, Thomas. Wolf. That is good. That's the end of the game. Good game, guys. Game. Good. Good game. I have a... Uh, provided there are no last minute challenges, I have a final score of 380 for Eric, 310 for Weber.